Hey there, it's Elizabeth Mack, and you're watching another edition of Limelight Live. This week, I'm downtown at the Mary Brogan, right off of Clayman Plaza in Duval Street. Uh, joining me this week is Trish Hansen. Say hello, Trish. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're going to be talking about some things going on here at the Brogan. They have a lot of things going on, starting off with, well, the Titanic has been going on for, I guess, Yes, it opened on September, mm -hmm. um, Labor Day weekend, September 2nd. That runs until January 2nd, so everyone mm -hmm. has plenty of time to yeah. come and experience it. Um, it's Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition. Um, the artifacts come directly from the debris field okay. um, premiere, um, and it's RMS Titanic. Um, they are allowed, they're the only ones allowed to take artifacts from the debris oh, field. Cool. Um, so you see the actual objects. Mm -hmm. There are some perfume bottles that when the artifact um, uh, specialist came uh, when she took everything out we were saying do you smell perfume and she said yes even though there, smell you can the still perfumes? smell the perfume oh my so gosh. it's fantastic everyone should come and experience it it's a beautiful <laughs> exhibition mm, that sounds really interesting I know I did get a little glimpse of it when I came in I, I'd say you should check it out and they have that what is that sitting in the front door there oh it's the the Wheel it tells you how to which way to go. It was. <laughs> it looks interesting. <laughs> it's cool. It's awesome. <laughs> but then this week also there will be a, a new exhibit opening up, yes. which is actually you can see just a glimpse of it behind yes. us right now. It's U Art, and then also to kick it off there'll be a special fashion show. So I guess first start telling me about U Art, and then we'll yeah. get into the fashion show. Well, uh, U Art is an exhibition consisting of Italian contemporary. Mm -hmm. um, artists, um, other artists um, from Europe, but mainly from Italy. Mm -hmm. um, we were lucky enough to have this exhibition thanks to Ilaria Nicolini. Um, she's a she, very nice lady. She's an amazing I had the wonderful woman. opportunity of yes. speaking with her. Yeah. She's wonderful. Um, she was um, instrumental in the Baroque exhibition, and um, this has all um, been given to us um, free. Um, she cool. wanted us to have the exhibition. So Tallahassee is the first on the stop of the mm -hmm. United States for it tours this for five cities, right? Five cities. Mm -hmm. Tallahassee is the first stop in the five city tour. And this is just a glimpse of a larger exhibition that's going to be in Art Basel this December. Okay. Um, so it's fascinating. It's beautiful. Um, the pieces are great. The exhibition, if you were here for the Baroque exhibition. Which was amazing. Yes, thank you. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was I circled around twice, actually. I couldn't help oh, myself. Oh, yay! <laughs> yeah, well, you could tell. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go through exhibition change-outs, mm -hmm. and we transform the third floor. So from the beautiful, deep Baroque colors, it's now very contemporary, white, yeah. uh, pops of gray. So very it's beautiful. Nice. Everyone should come out. It's here for a limited time. It's not here for very long. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're getting ready to open up another contemporary exhibition in November. But come by, um, experience it, it and... We I'm are the first city now. hosting this exhibition. Yeah. So. And I was told that it's been in cities like New York and Chicago and then Houston. It debuted so. in Italy in Milan. So yeah. that was beautiful. How many times, how many, how often do you get to say you got to see an exhibit from Milan I know. in Tallahassee? I know. That's, this is going to be your just second. Something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was say, that's just something, you know, to brag about a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'd check it and out. And Ilaria was specific. She wanted it um, just because of her experience here mm -hmm. in Tallahassee, um, how wonderful everyone was yep. to her and welcoming and how community-oriented mm -hmm. Tallahassee is. She wanted this exhibition to debut first in Tallahassee, the first U.S. city. Tallahassee is the one. If you've read my article in Sunday's paper, yep. you would know that Fantastic she's, article. she's in love with Tallahassee. She honestly admitted, she said, I didn't know if I was going to like it when I first and came. And she's from Gainesville. Yeah, she was like, I didn't know if I was going to like it when I first came. She's like, I, I actually like it. She's like, it's an interesting city. But she loves the fact that we really fully embrace art. I and agree. I, I, like, I think she's right yeah. about that, though. We she, do fully embrace it. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, I, uh, she lives in Gainesville, but she's from Italy. And mm -hmm. her husband is a professor there. So it's just kind of serendipitous how we yeah. met. But it's so. great. Um, also, because of the exhibit, she's also... And Ilaria. Yeah, and Ilaria. And we also were having a fashion show, correct? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is fascinating. Literally, it's in the making, two mm -hmm. weeks in the making. Found out last Tuesday that it was a go for fashion designer Nino Lettieri, mm -hmm. Italian hot couture fashion designer. Yes. Um, will be here. He actually arrives tonight. Ilaria and I are going to go pick him up wow. at the Tallahassee Airport yes. at 11 p.m. Um, tonight. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. There's model casting call thanks to Marsha um, Doll Models. Wow. We have a uh, model casting call tomorrow. So Thursday, 
is the event. Mm -hmm. um, I should say thank you very much to the Florida Retail Federation. They are a sponsor, very apropos, a sponsor of the fashion show. We are so grateful. Um, but we have Nino coming in. He will be debuting for Tallahassee his fall winter collection, mm -hmm. which just showcased three months ago on the Alta Roma runways. So Tallahassee and those coming to this event will be yeah. like the second <laughs> set of people ever. to see this. Uh, to see this. I actually looked online at some of the previous shows that he held. I I yes. think it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be. You mean for a very lovely treat? I don't think you'll ever see anything like no. this. And you know, I know, I know, um, ticket sales, you know, maybe a little um, steep for some. However, it's it's seventy five dollars, seventy five dollars, yeah. and it starts with the champagne and hors d'oeuvres, mm -hmm. um, little reception prior to the fashion show, um, and then at eight p.m. we have Nina Lettieri showcasing his fall winter. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's going to bring some of his um, spring gowns, right? and some of his wedding gowns. Yes. yes. I saw, I think I saw a couple of pictures on his website about with the wedding gown. Yes. Very he, extraordinary. Yeah, very extraordinary. He actually, um, for the Alta Roma runways, mm -hmm. he was the star. There were several Italian hot couture designers mm -hmm. um, showcasing their, um, actually it was not more, not just Italian, I think it was all um, Pretty much hot European. couture, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, and he was the star of the fashion show. So it's, it's going to be unique, very exclusive. It sounds like it. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. I think... Yeah. I don't know. So if you haven't the, purchased your tickets, yeah. Say, yes, it's just the fact that even having the opportunity of having this in Tallahassee, to me, just should make you want to come out. And the fact that, you know, there'll be local models, correct? I understand yes, the local models. Clubs, so we'll be having I, local models there. That's really good. I, yeah, I'm, I'm I should excited. Um, say thank you. The, like I said, because it's been so quick, mm -hmm. um, two weeks. I <laughs> That's had, not very long. I know. <laughs> to <no>. plan <laughs> I know you guys are probably running around with chickens with your head cut yeah, off. Yeah, oh, but man. you know what? Thanks to the community, once again, we have had great partnerships mm -hmm. with Divas and Devils, Marsha Dahl, the Florida Retail Federation, um, Hotel Duval is helping us with Nino's mm -hmm. Suite. He's um, in love with her. Oh man, he's so lucky. Green Peridot. <laughs> um, we have the stylist, stylist mm -hmm. coming from there doing the hair and makeup. Yes. Um, PSG is doing all of our lighting. Um, it's just, it's been fantastic. Sounds like it's really coming together. Yeah, so Zonine um, is sponsoring and giving us the, mm -hmm. um, the uh, Prosecco, the Italian version of champagne. Okay. Um, it's happening here on the third floor, so the exhibition is the backdrop to this fashion show. Okay. And then, so what time will it be on Thursday? 7 p.m. You can visit the Brogan's website. You can actually purchase your tickets okay. online. Um, they're $75, but it includes the, the, the champagne, mm -hmm. the hors d'oeuvres, and of course this, this one, of wonderful, a kind. one of a kind show that you probably never yeah. get to see in the States like this. Yeah, no, I don't well, think he's going anywhere else in the yeah, States. I was say. <laughs> so yeah, think about that. <laughs> um, as usual, I have some other things going on throughout the week. Um, some ongoing things, I like to mention something that's ongoing every single week. Last of week course. I talked about some exhibits going on in FAMU campus and around town, oh, downtown. Yeah. But then okay. also... Um, American Dance Festival 2010, a photographic essay and highlights from the permanent collection. It'll be showing at uh, FSU Museum of Fine Arts. It's a free exhibit. They always really have good stuff. FSU like Fine Arts Museum is awesome. I love that museum. So that'll be showing through November 13th. You can check it out Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 p.m. Um, swing by any time. It's campus. You know, it might be a little busy with students, but it's worth taking yes. a look at. And then um, Americana is uh, at Lemoyne Center. I actually got a little brochure, I want to say like a month ago, and it looks really lovely. I like it. They're only asking for a $2 donation to check out this exhibit. Yes, support Lemoyne. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., $2 donation. It's a wonderful paint. It's paints, well, I'm not familiar with paints like that, but it looks like it's acrylic paints. Mm. But it's different works from local, actually. There's Fantastic. one of like the North Florida Fairgrounds of the guy. It's called the Teddy Bear. My favorite oh, one of the I whole entire it exhibit. Out. So check that out. It's downtown off Call Street. Uh, and then uh, that's all for my ongoing. But um, Thursday is the zombie prom at oh. Theater TCC. It seems like that. it's going to be a nice little musical about how this kid was, he went turn, returned to school to finish his senior year, but he apparently died during a uh, power plant explosion yeah. of some sort. <laughs> so that seems like it's going to be interesting. The nice little musical. Yeah. They put on nice productions. So they'll they be do. having a show from Thursday to Saturday at 8 p.m. And then if you don't get to catch it this week, don't worry, you can catch it next week from Thursday to Saturday also at 8 p.m. You support TCC Theater. They yes. do they, they really do a really good great job. job. They do. And it sounds like it's going to be a cute show. I yeah. honestly Zombie think so. Zombie Prom is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Golden Ticket Wine Tasting. 
um, will be at Hotel Duval. It'll be something benefiting the Animal Shelter Foundation. Uh, it's from 6 to 10 p.m. This is also on Thursday. The tickets for per person are $45, but it's $80 per couple. And, you know, it's just supporting a good cause. And it's at Hotel Duval, which we all yes, love. Yes, and the Anim Animal Shelter Foundation is a great, great mm -hmm. organization helping to save the lives of homeless animals. Yes, so. the two things that we love in Tallahassee. Yeah, we do. Wine. <laughs> And animals. And animals. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely check that out. You're supporting a good cause and exactly. get your fill on some really tasty wines. And uh, so Friday, of course, everything seems to just explode on Fridays. There's a ton of things going on. I'm only going to list off a couple, um, starting with, uh, if you're into music, the Matt Hill and the Buzzkills will be forming at the Bradford Villas Blues Club from 9.30 to 1 p to 1 a.m. The tickets are $13 if you get them in advance, $15 if you get them on the day of. So again, that's Matt Hill and the Buzzkills at Bradfordville's Blues Club on Friday. And then Elder Care Services is hosting their 13th annual Oktoberfest because it is oh, October. Yay. And in the spirit of Oktoberfest, which is one of my favorite festivals ever, if I could ever go to Munich, I would and check it out, like the real Oktoberfest. Yes, you have to. <laughs> one day. You will. One day one you day. will. <laughs> <laughs> They're having their um, Oktoberfest at uh, the... Goodwood Museum um, and Gardens. It's at the uh, the Carriage House. What is yes, it the Carriage yes. House. Mm -hmm. And then 6 to 10 p.m., they're having a silent auction. Crooked Shoes, one of my favorite local bands, oh, will be performing. Uh, the tickets are $50 to that. And remember, it's for Elder Care Services. So good, check that good out. Another good organization. And then the Zubilee uh, at the Tallahassee Museum. That's it benefits fun. the museum, of course. It's 7 to 10 p.m., tickets are $40. If you get them in advance, $45 to get them at the door. They're promising lots of fun and food. I'd check it out. And it's always a fun time at the yeah. Tallahassee Museum when it's Zubilee. <laughs> yeah. So then on Saturday, it's two more things. Well, I have three more things. On Saturday, um, the third annual North Florida Wine and Food Festival will be at the University Center Club. 6.30 to 9.30, $30, but they're offering more than 300 wines wow. to sample. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. I don't know how they managed to pull that off, but more than 300 wines. Good for them. That's I'd great. I'd say definitely check that out. At the University Center Club, it's overlooking the field, which is very nice. Um, they're going to have food and, and live entertainment, so i definitely think about checking that out. And then Havana is having their 12th annual pumpkin festival. You know, Havana is not very far up the road from Tallahassee. Really? Mm -hmm. The pumpkin festival. The pumpkin festival. And it's October, so you got to get your yes. pumpkins for Halloween, of course. Start carving. It's, yes. They're actually going to have some carving demonstrations. Tobacco Road's going to be performing. They're oh. going to have face painting, storytelling, balloon and pumpkin decorating. And then they're having a stroller parade. Oh. So little babies and toddlers can be in their, in their little costumes. That's and awesome. I preview. think it sounds cute. Yeah. You have a little Halloween preview. Exactly. You there is a lot going on. <laughs> there is a lot going on. Tallahassee is a big city. We like to stay busy. Yes, yes. We do like it's to stay good. busy. It's very good. But then if you have any, if you have any strength or energy left after all those activities, on Sunday, uh, New Leaf Market is having their fourth annual um, farm tour. Awesome. You can plan out your own tour. It's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. There are 32 different farms that you can check out. You obviously, I can go check out all 32 in that same day, but you can pick which farms you want to and you have a choice from 32. Yeah, New Leaf um, is great and that's a great yeah, thing I love that New they Leaf. do every year. Yeah. I like to, sometimes I bring my lunch and I sit there at my desk and I think, man. I would love I the love salad bar <laughs> or the hot bar. Like, yeah, I like, I think I would check the hot bar today at New Leaf. It happens yeah. probably too or often yeah. than it should. But <laughs> I love New Leaf and I've Visit some of our local farms. And yes. It's actually pretty interesting. I think one of my favorite ones is uh, the Golden, I think it's Golden Hills. Mm. It's in Monticello. It's a goat There's farm, a actually. And they're so oh, cute. Oh, yes. I, I wanted to take one home about. with me, and I was like, man, I just, can I take one? And they're like, no, Elizabeth. I'm like, but I can really just put it in the back seat of my car. It'd be okay. <laughs> like, no, I need to stay at the farm. Yeah, and they're like, no, Elizabeth, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. And I, I just, they're so adorable. So they are. You can check out the farms, and um, I think it'd be for a great time. I think that's all I have for you this week. But um, remember, come check out The Broken, all these yes, exhibits they have please. going on. It's going to be an exciting time. The yes. fashion show on Thursday, Titanic, UART. I don't know. Is there anything else And everything like else that's going on. <laughs> no, it just makes me think about, you know, going back to community, and mm -hmm. we've got a lot of things going we on. Do. and We have a lot of places to support, but we can do it. We are big enough that we can. We can. And different strokes for different folks. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So there's something out there for everybody. Yes. Uh, I don't know. That's it. Thanks yeah. for joining me. Thank See you, you next time next week. Bye. Bye.